So Jesus came as a man. He was tempted. God is never tempted. But Jesus was tempted. Why? He was a man. He was hungry. God is never hungry. But Jesus was hungry. Why? 100% a man. He slept. God does not sleep nor slumber. But Jesus slept and slumbered till Peter beat him and woke him up and said, Master, carest thou not that we perish? The man don't sleep, sleep. He was tempted in all points, yet without sin. But he was tempted. God cannot be tempted with evil. Why? To confirm that Jesus was a man. Romans chapter 6 verse 23. Romans 6 23. For the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is not confess. The wages of sin is not cry for your sins. It's death. But God died the death in Christ. So now the gift of God. Because of that death, now there's a gift. You don't beg, you don't cry for a gift you receive. The gift of God is eternal life. Eternal life is the word Zoe. The gift of God is the Zoe. Eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody shout, I have eternal life now. That whosoever believes in him, is there a believer in the house, shall not perish. When you believe the gospel, you have eternal life. The moment you believe, you have Zoe life. How do I receive Zoe life? Believe the gospel. Simple. It's not eternal, eternal life. Eternal is a song outside light. I want to live eternal life, God save my... Get born again, my friend. Once you are born again, you have eternal life. Once you are born again, you have everlasting life. When you come to collect your people, remember me, oh God. Remember... Get born again, my friend. Once you are born again, you are in everlasting remembrance. I will never leave. I will never forsake you. I am with you always. Unto the end of the earth. Amen. Somebody shout, I believe. I believe. I'm not hearing you loud and clear. Believe. Whosoever believes in him should not perish. Eternal life means you can never perish. Never. Rather than perish, you have eternal life. So believers have eternal life. Why? Because eternal life is a gift. Eternal life is the believer's possession. It's your property. Do you beg for your property? You enjoy your property. Shekabalas. When you believe, you have eternal life. Eternal life or Zoe means absolute life. Absolute. Eternal life means it is absolute. Those of you that are science students here, you know what absolute, the theory of absolute. When a room is absolutely hot, there's no atom of cold. Absolute life means there's no atom of death. That's what you have now. Whether you feel it or not, it's not a feeling, it's a knowing. Eternal life means complete life. Life that cannot be changed. Complete life. Life that cannot be changed. Look at John 6, 47. John 6, 47. Five, ten minutes more, I'll let you go home and eat banga soup. Can we read together, everybody? Very loud, clean, clear, one, two, go. Is there a believer in this building? So what do you have now? What is everlasting? What is the way? Forever. What is forever? Forever. What is everlasting? 
Itana. What is Itana? It means titi lie, lie, lie. Everlasting life, not conditional life. Everlasting life, not terminal life. Everlasting life. That's what you have when? Now. Somebody shout, I have everlasting life now. I'm not here to shout it again. I have everlasting life now. Now listen quickly as I round off. There's a difference between eternal life and human life. There's a difference between eternal life and animal life. Animal life, human life, the same class. Eternal life, another class. When you have eternal life, you control human life. Eternal life is the believer's gift and possession from the resurrection of Jesus. Now watch this, because I'm about to close. John 5, 24. John 5, 24. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death to life. Are we teaching here? Next verse. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming and now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God and they that hear shall live. Next verse. For as the Father had life in himself, so hath he given to the Son to have life in himself. Next verse. Whoa. And had given him authority to execute judgment also. Why? Because he is the Son of Man. Say with me, I am passed from death to life. Can I hear you say it with some gusto? Dr. Damina, can a Christian lose his salvation? They shall never. 